August 11th, today's scripture. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Matthew 18, verses 19 to 20, the New International Version. Today's guide. When preparing for today, think about the following. The power of when two or more are gathered in prayer. Food for thought. In today's scripture, we are reminded of the profound impact of unity when we gather in the name of God. The passage illuminates the magnificence of God's power in our lives, emphasizing that when two or three come together in agreement through prayer and faith, our Father in heaven responds. This divine promise highlights the extraordinary influence of God's presence and how we can apply it in every season of our journey. Life's challenges often leave us feeling overwhelmed and alone, but when we unite with fellow believers in God's name, we unlock a boundless source of strength and guidance. We come to realize that it is God's mighty hand that orchestrates events for our benefit, and His unfailing love leads us through the darkest times. When we come together in prayer, our focus shifts from our own abilities to the sovereignty of God. It is not our strength, but God's power that brings about miracles. Trusting in His divine plan, we surrender our worries and anxieties, knowing that our collective prayers align us with God's will. This unity amplifies our faith as we witness the wonders of God's intervention in our lives and the lives of those around us. Throughout every season of our life, the scripture calls us to foster a profound connection with God. Our lives become a testament to His grace and love when we gather as one, setting aside personal desires to seek God's wisdom and purpose. The miracles that unfold in the embrace of God's presence inspire us to walk hand in hand with fellow believers, supporting and uplifting one another as we journey towards our shared purpose in His eternal plan. Today's scripture reminds us of the incredible power of unity in our lives. By gathering in His name, we invoke His divine presence and invite His mighty hand to work wonders in our hearts and circumstances. It is through God's grace and guidance that we find strength and fulfillment in every season of our journey. Gratitude. In the fast-paced world we live in, finding gratitude can sometimes be a challenge. We often get caught up in our own abilities and the hustle of daily life, forgetting the true source that governs our existence, God. To actively find gratitude, we must first acknowledge that our achievements and desires are not solely products of our own efforts. Instead, they are evidence of God's love and grace working through us. This recognition shifts our perspective from a self-centered mindset to a humbler one, opening our hearts to gratitude. Here are a few questions to ponder as you reflect on today's scripture and finding gratitude. How can I foster unity with others in the name of God? The power of God is magnified when we pray and seek alignment with fellow followers, cultivating an atmosphere of thankfulness as we see God's work in others' lives. How can I surrender my desires to God's will? By understanding that God's plan is far greater than our individual desires, we learn to trust in His wisdom and timing. Surrendering our needs to God fosters gratitude for His plan and protection. Today's scripture urges us to recognize God's power in our lives. By surrendering our desires to God's will and fostering a sense of community, we can actively find gratitude and embrace the blessings that flow from His unwavering love. Gratitude does not stem from our accomplishments, but from acknowledging God's presence in everything we do. Today's prayer. Prayer partners are an incredible gift that brings strength and hope. Thank you, Lord, for those trusted prayer partners that pray even when you wake them in the middle of the night. Amen.